Good morning, everyone, and welcome to today's episode of Good Morning Verona. I'm Nicole Niss. And I'm Amelia. Breaking news. A 5% of the capitals in the Montes have just broken out in town square. We have very little information on what is happening. However, it is believed to be started by two servants from the House of Capulet. Let's go to Chaz Rowan, who has just arrived on the scene of the fight. Thank you, Mia. I am here with a witness that has seen the events that have transpired between the two rivaling families, the Montagues and the Capulets. Hello, sir. What did you see today? Well, I was walking down the street as two men started to discuss biting their thumbs at another pair of men. Wow, that is crazy. Did anything happen after that? Well, then, the second group of men asked if the first group were biting their thumbs at them. And they said, no, sir, we do not bite our thumbs at you, sir but we do bite our thumbs. Due to this, I think they got ticked off seeing it as a sign of some sort of disrespect. They began to have a brawl with each other. What was your reaction to this crazy incident? I was dumbfounded that they would so easily fight with one another in a public place for all to see. Everyone that was in Verona at that time saw it. I would think that if I were them, I would want to fight somewhere in an alley or a little bit more secret. Okay, thank you for your reaction. And back to you guys in the studio. Thanks, Chaz. An eyewitness has just confirmed that the fight was started by two servants, Samson and Gregory, both from the House of Capulet. Both men got into a tiff with two other men from the House of Montague, known as Abram and Baltazar. Next is a clip of a recent message from Prince Eskis regarding the fight between the two houses, both alike in dignity and fair corona, will be later seen. By the old Capulet and Montague, have thrice disturbed the quiet of our streets and made Verona's ancient citizens cast by their grave beseeming ornaments to wield old partisans in hands as old cankered with peace to part your cankered hate if ever you disturb our streets again your life shall pay the forfeit of the peace. Wow, well I hope the Capulets and the Montagues don't get into another fight. Yes, indeed. He sounds very serious this time about putting the people to death. Stay tuned for more information. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. Oh no, what am I going to do? My best pair of tights just broke, and I have a feast to go to tonight. Don't worry, sir. We have the best tights for you. Fight tights. The high quality material means that the tights will last you a lifetime. And no more snagging and ripping because these tights are the best. And they come with every single color in the world ever. These are so comfy. What would I ever do without them? Thanks, Fight Tights. Late Sunday night, it was said that Romeo Montague and his group of friends crashed the widely known Capulet party. As everyone knows, the feud between the two families is still going on. And Romeo's unexpected appearance only added fuel to the fire. Some sources say that at first Romeo was hesitant to go to Capulet's party in fear of something bad happening, yet his friends convinced him to go anyways. Surprisingly, Capulet did not make a big deal out of them being at his party, and the celebration continued late into the night. And now, to Ty and Chaz for sports. <laughs> Welcome to Today in Sports. I'm Todd. And I'm Chaz. The Vikings beat the Lions 2-1 in a close game of slap ball. The Vikings will now move on to the finals and complete against the Bulls for the championship title. And the Rocks beat the Bears 3-2 in races. The Bears played a good game, but messed up in the last half, which, which cost them the title. We bravely brought Emmis to join the Verona Lakes Jazz team team after playing for the Cavs for four seasons. He will play the first match next Tuesday. That's it for sports today. Back to the news. Breaking news. Another fight has just broken out in the town square, leaving two people dead. The first victim is Mercutio, a kinsman of the prince, and the second is Tibble, nephew to Lady Capulet. There is little information right now on exactly what has happened. However, it is known after a heated argument between Mercutio and Tibble, a fight broke out between the two. Then after Tibble killed Mercutio, Romeo then killed Tibble. 
Up next is a short video that was submitted by an eyewitness of the fight between Mercutio and Tybalt, among other Capulets and Montagues. has just announced that Romeo Montague will be banished from Verona, and we have just received word that the fight was started after Tybalt insulted Romeo, yet Romeo stayed calm and refused to fight him. However, Mercutio got angry and decided to fight Tybalt since Romeo would not. After the two fought for a little bit, it ended in Mercutio's death. Then Romeo furiously at Tybalt killed him since he killed his friend Mercutio. Stay tuned for more information. And we'll be right back after this commercial break. I'm the victor. I won because of my sword from Sword City. Early Wednesday morning, Juliet Capulet was discovered dead in her bedroom by her nurse. Juliet was to wed Paris, a young nobleman and kinsman of the prince, later that morning. However, a wedding will be replaced by a funeral, and celebration is to be replaced with sorrow. Julia Capulet was found only a few short hours after the death of her beloved kinsman, Tybalt. The cause of her death is unknown, yet her tragic end will leave an everlasting imprint on her family as she was their only child. Good morrow, and welcome to Celebrity Interviews. I'm Cole Whiteside, and I'd like to welcome our special guest, Princesscalus. Good day. Thank you for inviting me. No problem. So how has the been? I've been well. Yourself? Good. Thank you for asking. If you don't mind me asking, what happened the other day with the Capulets and Mountaineers? I really shouldn't be speaking about it. Oh, come on. Tell us something. Well, it was just another dump fight between two houses. Quite frankly, I'm tired of it, and I'm sure the people of Verona are too. I see. Well, I hope it doesn't happen again. I do as well. So, Princess Bliss, what have you been up to recently? Nothing much, just relaxing and riding my horses. Very nice. Your horses, are they beautiful? They are indeed. Is there any royal gossip you can tell the people? Well, there will be a marriage coming up between two high household members. Can you tell us who it is? I'm afraid I cannot say that information. Well, when will we know about it? I'm sure everyone will be dying to know. Is it one of the Capulets or Montagues? Maybe, or maybe not. It will most likely be announced in a day or so. Alright, well, we can't wait to find out. This may be a sensitive topic right now, however, can you tell us anything about Rome Romeo's banishment from Verona and your cousin's death? God bless his soul, Mercutio. I don't know if that is something I should speak about, considering we don't know all the information yet. Well, I understand. He was a dear friend, and your cousin, of course. Yes, he was, and I'm saddened by the loss of my dear cousin. For he was a good man whom I love dearly. However, Romeo did kill Tybalt, and it is not to be taken away. Who now the prince of his dear blood doth owe? Do you think Tybalt got what he deserved for killing Mercutio? To be clear, I do not think killing is your right thing. However, th in this particular instance, Romeo did not kill an innocent man, to say the least. Yes, indeed. Well, thank you for coming today. Yes, thank you for having me. Parting is such a sweet sorrow that I shall say goodnight till be tomorrow. And now to Luke for the latest gossip. Thank you, Nicole. Well, some civilians of civil lives have acquired through ear of three specific but not confirmed strange sightings. Here's Chaz with the first. Thank you, Luke. Our sources believe to see Romeo from the house Montague and Juliet from the house Capulet in exchange of words. The Capulet party took place on Sunday night and the two were spotted by our own producers. Both were disguised in hide. Do you know why this occurred? Yes, I do. 
Several outcomes could be the answer. Maybe it was a quarrel, a start of a brawl. Maybe it was a plan to end the feud. Maybe it was love. I know. I now have received word that we have the video of the two together. We go to Nicole. Up next is a video, and it is believed to be of Juliet speaking. She is with a man that is not her husband. It looks like it could be a Montague, although that would be forbidden if he was. And now back to Chaz for more details on the latest gossip. Thank you, Nicole. Now here's Luke with a second. Thank you for the brilliant piece, Chaz. The next word spreading around the town of Verona is that the nurse of Juliet from House Capulet was seen entering and speaking to Fry Lawrence in his cell. That seems odd. Any idea why? Although nothing is confirmed, the reason of this could be, maybe she was just going to pray, maybe she was arranging a marriage. We have Cole on the scene with a witness. Got it. Hello, I'm here with Mia. What did you see? Hello Cole, I was walking near Friar Lauren's cell when I saw the nurse suspiciously walking as if she wasn't supposed to be seen. She knocked on the door and she whispered to the friar, which I believe was, un was acting suspicious. Friar barely opened the door just enough to let the nurse in, then slammed the door shut. Interesting. Do you know why this occurred? Not exactly, but I believe the friar was hiding something inside his cell. Thank you, Mia. And back to you guys in the studio. Thank you for that amazing story. And now to Ty for the last piece. Thank you. I am here near the Capul House, where it has now been brought to my attention that Julia is now being brought up as dead. Although it, would, it has not been confirmed, Sources are telling me that the type of death was suicide. By how poisoned a dagger. Who knows? Thank you, Ty. And it looks like we have run out of time. See you next week. Here's a word from our sponsor. Good morrow and welcome to Nason. How can I help you? The G got in. We're looking for a new wagon. We want the best wagon money can buy. <laughs> Sadly, the is broken. We heard from others that you guys are the best. Well, we have just what you're looking for. Follow me. Excellent. Lead the way. This is our newest wagon, and it's only 100 ducats. What do you think? Excellent. This is the most excellent wagon I've ever seen. <laughs> we'll take it. Perfect. Early Friday morning, after Julia was put to rest in her family's tomb, Romeo Montague and Julia Capulet were found dead. Even though Juliet supposedly died Wednesday morning, she was found outside of her final resting place and was warm to the touch. Friar Lawrence stated that Juliet took a poison that made her look as if she were dead in order to run away with her true love Romeo when she awoke 42 hours later. However, Romeo found her before she awoke and killed himself. Then, after she woke up, she found her true love dead next to her, which led her to take her own life. After the two lovers were found dead, their families decided to end the feud and build golden statues of the two stars, cross lovers. How sad is this tragic day? Oh, why did it take two untimely deaths to end two family feuds? That's it for tonight, and stay tuned for the next episode of Good Morning and Verona. Thank, Thank you, and good night. Nason, let's ride places. Thanks, Chaz. An eyewitness has just confirmed that the fight tip which Hello, darkness, my old friend. Next is <laughs> Very good points. Back to you guys in the studio. Guys in the studio. What was your... Uh, <laughs> what was your best wagon money can buy? Sadly, ours broke and won't... Can you not... Morning after Juliet was put in rest... Thank you. I'm here near the Capitol House. Thank you. I'm here near the Capitol mm -hmm. House. Next word spreading around the town of Verona is that the nurse of Juliet from House Capulet was seen entering. Tight, tight, please. <laughs> she was unexpectedly nope, seen. Nope. Well, I hope they can be great. Ready, Nicole? No, she can't do it like this. She has to go. Let's go to Cole Whiteside, who has just arrived on the scene of the fight. Are you still filming?